what is good about me, but you still live in my house. Did I not give you today as deadline? Uh, sir, I'm still struggling to raise the rent. I believe tomorrow will be better. Ha! Same old story all the time. I am fed up. Hi. Hey. I'll be helpless. I don't care anymore. I have tried my best. So you're leaving my house. Ah! God knows that I've been merciful to you for so long now. What are you guys waiting for? Go in there and bring out her things. I am not Father Christmas. Did I, did I, neither did I kill your husband. Leave me alone, please. Hey, sir, sir, please. Where will me and my kids go, sir? I don't care. Ah. Yeah. What happened to her head? It's a Lola that threw a stone on her head last night. Who is a Lola? Lola? My classmate. Hey. Oh, we have to take her to the clinic, eh? Okay? Why would you be playing with stones? Can I get 100 or 200 naira from you to go and treat her head? It's bleeding. What? Oh, God. What? Take hey. and get out. What? What's remaining there? Yeah, this one. She's off. It's off. Look at it. Let's go. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed in you. Have I not told you to stop playing with stones? Mom, it's Chica. She started throwing stone at Ola. It's a lie, Mom. He started it first. And you joined him? Eh? Now you've gotten your younger sister wounded. Who behaves like you? And you? Are you not the eldest? Where were you when all this was happening? No, I was... Shut I don't even want to hear that right now. I have other things on my mind. The landlord is throwing us out today. Mom, mm, I see we're going to stay outside. Let's go. I still can't believe this man chased you and the kids out of the house. See my sister. I pleaded with him, but he refused. This man is very wicked. Very wicked. He has tried. I've lived in this house for a year now, and I've not paid a dime. He can't kill himself for me. I wish I was around when he came. Maybe I would have pleaded with him to allow you to stay for some time. He even gave me money that I used to take for treatment. Man, I tried. So what are you going to do now? Where do you take these kids? You see, I don't know. I don't know. You know how it's been for me. I have no idea. I don't know what. But you can't sleep in the streets now, eh? I don't know. Maybe you would come stay with me for some time until my husband returns. I'm busy. <laughs> busy, thank you. Busy, you've done so much. Busy, thank you. Stop. Hey. It's not your fault. I mean, it wasn't your fault that your husband died at such a young age. It's well, my dear. Just pull yourself together, please. Thank you. 
You know what? Let me just fix a place so you can start breaking in your things. Just get to a place. Hmm? Oh. Yes, for the time being, until I can figure out a place for us to go to. But mom, why would Delano throw us out like that? Mm, he was... He needs to renovate my house. And we can't be in there while work is going on. So do you mean we return to the house? Yes, soon. Or even to somewhere better. <laughs> mom, I'm hungry. Uh-uh. Didn't you eat something earlier in the day? Manage it though. You don't even ask mommy if mommy has eaten since morning. Anyway, I'll find something to do about that later. to see a friend of mine. I wanted to ask her if I could get bread or credit from her to feed the kids. Hey! Not while you are in my house. I just snuck out to get stuff for you and the kids. I forgot to drop the money so I had to go get them myself. Ah, please, don't, don't even do that next time. Thank you so much. Please. God will embarrass you with blessings for helping a poor widow like me. It's okay. God will bless you too soonest, alright? Let me rush back before my boss starts looking for me. Um, okay. I'll be going to see Sabina later in the day. Sabina? I thought you said you wouldn't disturb her anymore. Anyway, let me rush. Just take care of yourself, okay? Oh, madam, she the do thing you see make you know they come here. He, and you won't put me for two. Hmm? It's my sister around. Madam, even if your sister there around, you see make I know they open this door for me. Uh, but she not tell me like that now. She didn't tell me such. How, how she would tell you? Is it because to say you be a sister? That's why she not tell you. But I beg not to maintain and me tell you. Don't worry. I need to see her. It's urgent, please. Hey, what are you doing? Understand this? They give me very, very slow, slow warning. I beg, come begin the go. I beg. It's her husband around. Two of them. Two of them there around. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No verse here.
Thank you. Sabina, Sabina, please. The landlord has kicked me and the children out of the house at last. Not even a greeting. Pardon my manners. Good afternoon, Richard. I'm sorry. If you mean you and the kids are homeless? Yes, please. We need your help. Okay, why not we... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are late to a function. You have to come back later. Do you understand? Maybe next weekend will be fine. Please. Sabina, please. Even if it's something for the kids to eat, please. Tell it to you. Huh? Didn't you hear her? Go and fix your children and yourself somewhere else. And come back next weekend. Nonsense. Move this car! I'm so sorry to disappoint you, please. I've gone to lesson by now. We are waiting for you to take us there. Okay. Mom? Hmm? You're crying. No, you know. I'm not crying, it's just I have kata. You're lying to me again. <laughs> Meaning I've lied before. Of course. You told my sisters that the landlord wants to renovate the house. And he threw us out. Uh, yes, that's that's why. But you know that's a lie, Mom. How can you throw only us out? It rains, isn't it? It's real. It's real Come here. Just don't tell your sisters, okay? I won't. If only you promise me you stop crying. <laughs> I'll stop. This car right now. Why ask me to stop the car? Because I want to take the wheels. I thought you said I'll be driving you today. Are you going to be arguing with me? Huh? Why are you suddenly harsh? What's going on? I am harsh because the woman I call my wife will always argue with me instead of answering my questions. Or you want me to understand that this is your car? I don't understand. What's going on? Get down. I need to take the wings. Period. And I told you, I had to, 
It's obvious her husband won't allow her help me. I don't get it. Is she not your blood? Same father, same mother. Remembering all the sacrifices I made for her wrenches my heart the more. We lost our parents at an early stage and I took care of Sabina. I took I care of so Sabina. Sorry, Salome. Forget her. She's not your God. She's all I have in this world. She asked me to come back next weekend. Salome, you have me and you have God. Okay? I will do my best. I will do everything I can. I thank God for being, making me close to you, my neighbor. Do you think I should go and see her next weekend? I don't know if you want to, but trust me, she's not a good person. So early. Mommy, we had to go back home and never return to school or let him on to repair our tuition fee. Why now? But I spoke with your school head the other day. Mom, I want to go back to school. Same here, Mom. We have a lot to cover up before the end of this thing. Don't worry, your little head, sir. God will provide. Is he not the father of the fatherless? Mom, where's my dad? Your dad is in heaven. Can I go and be with him? Not yet. But we'll be with him someday, okay? I'll love you go inside. Go in and change. I'll come and give you food later. Richard, why? Is that how to start an apology? Huh? I'm truly sorry. Why do you keep reminding me that everything I use in this house, you own it? Why? I never did that. Yes, you did! But you are all my commands. That's what you did. Were you expecting me to ignore her? Richard, for Christ's sake, she's my sister. You heard me clearly when I said you should come back later. And all you did was just to make me feel like nonsense. I'm sorry, but such thoughts never crossed my mind. I love you, Richard. I love you, and that means everything I own belongs to you. I'm really? It's what you say all the time, and you'll do otherwise. So let me tell you something. That your sister is a pain in the ass. And that has to stop. She said she's homeless. Has she ever come to this place without giving one complaint or the other? Huh? 
And what are you even doing about the plaza you promised me? I need some time. As long as your sister keeps coming here, right, she will not fulfill that promise. Look, I thought you must have gotten over this by now. I'm sorry. Believe me, I'm truly sorry. Okay. What do you want me to do for you? Just say it and consider it done. Babe. I want to take possession of all your ATM cards. And I need to know how you spend your money daily. I mean, all your purchases. Uh, so, what are you now? My account officer? Okay, you're not making caricature of me, Abby. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, fine. Consider it done. Smile for me now. Come on, <laughs> smile. Baby, you know I love you so much. I mean well for you. Mm -mm. You mean well for us, and I truly appreciate that. I love you. And hey, my food is ready. Don't refuse it. What if I say I don't eat? What would you do? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go. Boy, let's go. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Ready to speak mercy and forgive and give freedom. Mm. How was your day? I went in search of a job. This my lost certificate is really dealing with me. Kai, I can imagine. It's such a pity you lost your NCE certificate. 
And getting another one is really difficult, Abby. I'm just keeping faith. I just... I really wish they would take statements of results. I would have fixed myself up somewhere by now. Well, like you said, just keep faith, okay? Everything will be well. Um, I got a call from my husband. He said he'll be back by the weekend. But you said he won't be back till December. That's what he said. I was surprised when he called and said he'll be back by, by this weekend. I don't know why. That means I'll stay with you so far. Hey. No, what? Let me get something down the streets. Just freshen up and come out of this mood, okay? Good afternoon. Um, please, is my sister around? She died around though, but her husband died around too. Mm. Yes. Okay, um, please. Um, she asked me to come today, so please, could you tell her? Huh? What are you doing here? Good afternoon. Have I not warned you never to come to this house again? She asked me to come today. Salome, leave us alone! Take your poverty stricken self somewhere else! This is not a bank! My wife is not a money making machine! Please. We are homeless now. The landlord kicked me and the kids out of the house. Oh. Then go somewhere else and fix yourself. Listen to me. I don't want to ever see you in this house again. Do you understand? Get out! in heaven, husband of widows, look with pity on me and help me. Where do I take these children to? Where do I go from here now that business husband is about to return? God, please help me out of this situation because I've suffered so much in this life. Help me, my God, please. Show me your mercy. Please, I have no one else to go to. My only sister has turned her back on me. Where will my help come from? Where?
Uh -huh. Did Madame's sister come here today? Are you sure? Yeah, no, you, you know, this is the morning. They just the black. They didn't part of say this is the Listen to me. That woman, she's not welcomed in this house. Do you understand? Uh, yes. If you still want to retain this your job, make sure that she does not come close to anywhere around this house. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes, sir. My friend, go unlock that gate very well. Look, 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 look at this here. Yeah. I blame you. I, 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 I don't blame you. You just, just, just did this act. They, they chop my, my madam food. They call, call yourself or oh, oh, husband. Every time you go just the dangling words, the dangling words. A woman go the dangling words. You go the dangling words. No see how they did. Oh, oh, come back, come. Listen, when you're done eating, you take your sisters inside and pack your bags. We're leaving this place. Mom, where are we going to from here? Mom, are we going back to our apartment? Um, we can't go back there yet. The landlord hasn't finished renovating. But we really need to leave this place. So be a mom. God will provide her. Oh, you see. I don't know what I just need to be wrong. Uh, thank you. We hope you are all having a good time. Eh? <laughs> um, we'll be leaving later today. Leaving? To where? I really don't want to inconvenience you two. No, not at all. We are fine with you. Please stay. I don't understand. Yeah, she told me everything. The issues you have with the landlord. And I feel for you. I won't call myself a Christian if I allow you and the kids to live here without a place to go to. I believe we'll be fine, sir. God will take care of us. I know. But at least for a while, until you have a place of your own. Okay? Please. Salome, please stay. I want you and the kids to stay. Hmm? Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. 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 Madam, welcome. Sombra, how are you? Madam, fine, fine, but but dear leave. Sombra, I am not increasing your salary, so do not broach that to me. Madam, this 
is equal brush. Madam, this is no be issue of brush. Madam, I the brush two times every day now, just as you advised me. It's no issue of brush. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Where's Thank my you. husband? Madam, now your husband be the, the main cook. You don't come out. But madam, sorry for, for this thing. Yeah, madam, this is your husband, you don't tire me. Ah, you don't tire me. Madam, do you know that your sister come here? If you see how your your husband beat up, he can be can be can be can be can be beat up finish two long outside. And after beating me, the woman say that I, I I should not open the door for that woman. And I remember when you, you and the woman they talk, they, they tell and say may 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 you, you come that that day. When did this happen? Madam, yesterday. The thing is that I I, I forget them before be, be, before you come out. Nyan, 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 make him. He be true, madam, your sister, your sister. Oh. Hello, sister. Hello. 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 Madam. Do you still want to retain your job in this house? Madam, of course, that is the job I'm doing. I don't get any job anywhere where else. This is the job. Good. Then obey the man of the house. Hey! Don't bro, obey the man of the house. He don't wash put for my madam. He don't wash put. See now? This kind of nonsense life is this itself. Don't wash put. Don't bro, obey the, I got to obey. It's just no, it's not to obey. I got to obey. the kids playing outside. Are they not going to school? Mm. They were sent out of school because I couldn't pay their fees. Huh. That's so bad and unfair. And what have you been doing about it? What can I do? I don't have anything left to sell. I've sold everything. Now, oh, wow. Huh. Anyways, I will help pay their school fees for them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you. What's the problem? Salome, ever since we became neighbors, hmm, I have always been very much interested in you. And when you lost your husband, I became fully convinced that God wants us to be close. Yes. I don't understand. Um, what I mean is... Salome, I love you. I mean, I want to be the man of your life. I want to take care of you and your kids. I love you. Are you listening to yourself? You're my best friend's husband. Is this a joke or something? Your best friend will not find out about this. If you don't tell her, give me the chance to take care of you and the kids. I'm in love with you. I love you so much. Death. Death. If you had to take in my husband, would this man be here saying this rubbish to me? I love you, Salome. I'm serious. I love you. You are drunk! Just when I thought I'd found a place of solace, I should have known her husband as a womanizer. Poor Bessie. 
You have to tell her about it. No. She'll be so disappointed, and that means wrecking her marriage. No, I can't. But what do I do now? This man has been disturbing me and will not stop until I give in to his demands. God, why have you forsaken me? Why me? What are you doing here? Please. Please. Allow me to take care of you. Hey. Stop being silly. You see these kids? They need to pay their school fees. And you also need to fit well. Do you need someone to take care of you? I don't need you. I have God. God? Stop being delusional. We go from your stupidity. Men are the God you see now. Please, just please. If you don't leave now, I will shout and alert your wife. I just need a piece of your face. Just a piece. Busy! Out! Please, please. I said out! It's a good idea. Alright. Um, by the way, what happened last night? I overheard you shouting. Um, nothing. It was nothing. Nothing? You just decided to scream. Um, well, it was, uh, I was praying. I hope I didn't disturb you. Oh, no. It's a good thing. I mean, prayer is all you need to come out of this situation right now. And I'll also be praying that very soon you will have your child running around this place. Amen. Oh, amen. This childlessness is really giving me cause for Please. worry. Yeah? My dear, don't worry yourself about that. Your marriage is just two years young. Ah, you'll soon have yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to see you now! Is anything the matter? Excuse me. What is it? I want that woman and her kids out of my house tomorrow. What do you mean, out of your house? Yes, you heard me. I want them out by tomorrow. But you can't just send them out like that, for no reason. I mean, you accepted this stay with us. Why the sudden change of mind? Okay, if you wish to know. I had a dream about her. Yes. And in that dream, she killed you. Yes. I saw her stabbed you three times in the stomach. I saw life flitted off you right before my very own eyes. No, that woman, she's evil. And I want she and her kids out of my house by tomorrow. Um, honey. I have made my decision. Sweetheart, 
Mess of hurry up with your school bag, bring it. Recite Psalm 23. Hmm? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he restores my soul, he leads me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. BC, you have to let go of your anger. I don't understand. Why would he ask you to leave simply because of a dream he had? A mere dream. Perhaps he's afraid it will come to pass. Come to pass? But you will never do such a thing, or would you? I don't think I've heard to fly since I was a child. Of course I know you well, my dear friend. I'm just displeased at my husband's decision. I wish there's a way I can change his mind. I wish I can just have things my way in this house. What's all this now? Hey, take it easy. Hmm? He's your husband. You have to obey and respect his decisions. Let me just go. In the interest of peace, your marriage is too young for me to burden you with my problems. Hmm? Where are you going to go with these kids? Honestly, I have no idea. Mom, I thought you said they are going somewhere nice. Yes, we are. Busy, you have to lend me some money. I promise I'll give it back to you once I can. This is, this is really unfair. No food to give us. We have to be patient. Um, we have to go and get drugs for Kev. But mom, we have no money to pay for the drugs. Could we provide? Mom, what 
What about her auntie? She hardly visits again. She only came when dad died. I never came again. Sam, you know your auntie, she's a very busy person. Her job is time demanding. I'm sure when she has time, she'll come around. So let's go. Kitties, help your sister when she gets down. What are you doing here? Um, I'm your former neighbor's sister, Salome. I know who you are. My question is, what are you doing here? Okay, uh, I heard the landlord threw she and the kids away, so I came to find out where they are, so I can go search for them. You heard? So you're still alive? I thought you're dead. Because it's only a dead person will allow his or her sister to suffer the way you're allowing Salome and her children to suffer. Even if she has wronged you in this life, why extend it to her children? Where, where is this coming from? I came here to know the whereabouts of my sister and her kids and you're saying this to me? Do you know if things have been good with me too? Do you know? How can things be smooth for the wicked? You are allowing Salome suffer in the dangerous streets of Lagos. And she has a sister like you. Oh, you are worse than the devil. I cannot stand here and watch you insult me anymore. I see Salome actually to insult me, right? But I won't take it. No, come! Let me give you her location. Rubbish. You should be ashamed of yourself, useless woman. I came to um, see you about drugs for my daughter. Um, if you can help me with any drugs for her, sir. Headache. Mm -hmm. She's having serious headaches. She has been in my head. I don't know if you can help me with drugs for her. Uh, I have paracetamol, I have panadol. So which one do you want? Anyone will be helpful, sir. Anyone. Uh, what of money? Um, that's why what I came to try to tell you, sir. I don't have money for now. But any help you can render, I don't mind. Madam, I don't say I'll take it. Hey. Sir, because, sir, there's no how I can be watching my child going through this kind of pain and I won't do anything. Because. Madam, I've been showing kindness to people since morning. Is this how I will survive? I don't say okay, please. People should go. 
Let me get out. Give her this one. Okay. One in the morning, okay. one in the night. Yes, sir. Then this one. This one. Rub it on her head. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you All right. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. God, we thank you for this food for today. We ask of you that you bless the provider and that this food will nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mom is fasting. What is fasting? Fasting is a way of punishing the flesh by not eating so that you can concentrate on your prayer, especially when you're praying to God for mercy. Mom, can I fast with you? Not yet, my darling. But soon, you'll be able to join me in fasting. But for now, you all need food more than mommy, so eat up. Mom, you have not eaten since yesterday. Don't worry about that. All I need for you to do is to eat and get stronger, okay? I said I was busy. Too busy to take my phone call. Don't you understand the word busy? Busy people find time to call their loved ones. Especially those dear to them. So if I was dear to you, then you should have returned my calls. What are you trying to say? All I'm trying to say is that you owe me an apology. But pride won't even let you do that. 
Well, I only apologize when I do something wrong. No one I'm justified in my action. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would say this. Most especially when the truth is so clear. Out. Out of your car? Get out of the car. Are you going to leave me by the roadside? Richard, what are you doing? my sister's former residence to ask for her whereabouts. But to my surprise, I met a neighbor who insulted the living daylight out of me. Insulted you? Why? Why would someone insult you? There is no kind of insult she did not rain on me today. No time. All because I went to look for my sister. Eh? I didn't know that Salon Me has gone around to start telling people how wicked, foolish, all true things about me just to make me look stupid in the presence if of anybody. If I told you not to go to see her, you would think I don't want you to help your sister. But I knew all these things were going to happen. But you never listen. That's your problem. You never listen. I'm so sad. I'm so sad and heartbroken after talking to that lady. I mean, how could my sister? How could she destroy my reputation in the presence of her assumed friends? Why would she do such a thing? Why? Why? Because you are too soft and soft-hearted to her. That's why. You even denied me of my beautiful morning sex because of a third girl sister. Just please. No, I'm sorry about that. Please, no, I want to work on my phone. I need to make some phone calls, please. Can please. I make it up to you now? Hey. Come on. Stop. Listen, this is your jewelry, it's not working. Yeah. The money you promised me, you've not given it to me. I'm busy. Yeah.
ici. God will bless you for everything you've been doing for us. I wish I could do more with the little salary I earn at the end of the month. You just have to manage this place. Hmm? You've hmm? done too much already. <laughs> you've done too much already. More than a sister would even do. My darling, every penny, every penny you spent on me and my children, God will reward you a hundredfold. Amen, my dear. Amen. I brought food and stuff for you and the kids. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, dear. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Auntie Bisi brought food for us. Please thank her. Thank you, Auntie Bisi. You're welcome. Okay, take this in. Carry this. Keep it. I'm coming to her. Okay. Salome, you've not eaten for some days now. It's showing all over you. You have to be mindful of Ulsa. Hmm? I'll eat, my dear. It is well. It is well. How is your husband? He's fine. He later felt remorse over his action. But still insisted you stayed on your own. How often do you monitor his movement and activities? Not very often. Why? Nothing. It's just, um... You know he's what you have for now. And, um... You need to guide and love him jealously. Trust me, life is not easy without your husband. I understand, my dear. I do. Hmm? Salome, I've missed you. Your selfish and wicked sister was around the other day, asking of your whereabouts that she wanted to help. Are you serious? Is she going to be alright? I pray so. Mom, it's getting bad. Why don't you go to the hospital? With which money will we go to the hospital? Huh? But it's getting worse. We can't watch her suffer like this. We have to try. I I'll try, but I don't think the doctors will listen to us. But, Mom, I believe God will listen to us. Let us pray. Have you heard from the doctor or anything? Where is he? He's coming. Don't worry, your child will be fine. He'll soon be here. Madam. Um, Madam, your daughter needs an urgent blood transfusion. And the one we have in our blood bank does not match our blood type. Yeah. And so we need a donor or I'll direct you to a blood bank where you can get the type that okay for her. All the stock of donors and going to places to buy, I don't have that kind of money. Eh? Why, why don't you just use my blood? Why are you rejecting no, no, it? I'm afraid, madam, we can't do that. 
from the blood test carried out on you, it appears you don't have enough blood in your system. Not to talk of donating to another. You need to fit properly to have enough blood flow in your system. And so that blood is needed urgently if your daughter must leave. Okay? All right, madam. Um, nurse, Sir. please see me in my office. Okay. Now, wait till you don't, Madam, you don't kill me. Well, let me don't kill you. What are you sister. talking about? Madam, my girl. Yeah, no. Hey, Madam, your sister, the one that told me any day when you close this gate and open my door, Madam, you don't kill me. Oh, please, don't, bruh. Please, it's a matter of life and death. Just call my sister for me. What are you talking about? She they go not this thing where they talk now. She don't close this gate. Bruh, call my sister. Call my sister. Madam, no, no problem. I might be job, they die you know. No, my sister, I don't care what they do to me, just go. No cross here. Oh my god. Why did you allow her in? Uh, uh, Madam, no, 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 she, 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 she said her life and death. I don't even know what I open get for her. Tabina, please. I beg you with everything within me. My child is sick. I need your help. I beg you. Where have you been? Because I've been to your former residence and a neighbor you told false tales about me, insulted me. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what happened. But I'm sorry. You know I wouldn't do such a thing. Please, Sabina, my child is seriously sick. I need your assistance, Pico. You see this life? You see you? After tarnishing my reputation, you still have the face to walk into my compound. Really? Huh? You only come to me when there is trouble. Where have you been since? You've been managing, you've been doing very well without me. You never care to let me know about your whereabouts. Huh? I don't have money to give. Moreover, I've exceeded my daily transactions and it's weekend already. So, there is no money. It will wait till Monday, okay? Sabina, <laughs> this is an emergency. Explain that to the doctor. By Monday, I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry for your child. Sabina. Idiots. Open the gate for me. Something that I love you. Oh, something that I love you. 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 Something that I love my sister! My sister, I did I just do you? don't leave me! Sabina, don't leave me! Sabina! My child will die, please! Please come! Sabina, don't go! Ha 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 Oh my god <laughs> Who is 
What do you want? Um, I've been trying to reach your wife on phone, but her line is not connecting. She's not around. Um, did she go far? I think I've answered you enough. Please, sir. I really need to see her. I need her help. I gave you an opportunity. But you sheepishly threw it away. Goodbye. Please, please. Go away. Get out from my door. Sir, please, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't care. Anywhere you want to go to go. Meso! What are you doing? Nothing, Lord. Don't you dare lie to me! Meso, just tell her. You were hungry. I came from playing too. But she didn't know where you went. So I took Chica with me to grab her from arms. How can you beg when I'm still alive? I'm your mother. And I will always provide for you. Let me be the one begging. Please. Oh, you can't be succeeded in finding any money. God will provide. See, please, let's go. Let me get you food, eh? Then we'll join your sister in the hospital. Let's go. Um, I'll get us food and then. So you mean that your annoying sister still showed up in this house again? Babe, calm down. Look, I was only telling you what happened. And I have warned that stupid gate man never to open the gate for her. You need to calm down with your anger. She's still my sister, please. I will not calm down. Not after she has tried to slander your reputation before her friends. She said her child is sick and she's at the hospital. I don't care. She's very lucky she's your sister. And also lucky self that, that I was not even at home when, when she showed up. I'll deal with that, get my Babe, you don't need to blame the gates man. He said she told him that it's a matter of life and death. You know what, I'll go see her on Monday. 
and pay the hospital bill at least, you know. Just go and get me my food. Why is it that she always shows up here whenever she has issues? Huh? And whenever she shows up, it's all about money, 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 money. How, how, how would you set up my plans for me when, when she keeps showing up every month? Babe, she's saying hospital means it's something very serious. She can't just be joking about it. Please, I'll try and see her by Monday, okay? Let me get you your food. Pastor, I'm very sorry for the delay. I'm truly sorry. No problems. No problems, Sister Sabina. Uh, this is a check of 2 million pounds last on the service. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Sister Sabina. You don't know what you've just done to the house of the Lord. Sabina, for the fact that you've decided to fulfill your pledge, my God will never forsake you. Amen. My God will never abandon you. Amen. My God will never disappoint you. Amen. I, I, I speak to you by the unction of the Holy Spirit inside of me that you will never lack. Amen. Whatever you do, whatsoever you lay your hands, shall be prosperous. Amen. You're going out and you're coming in. Just like he said in Psalm 1 to 1, that he'll protect your going out and your coming in. This you have done will speak for you. Amen. This you have done will speak for you. Amen. This is my prayer for you, Sister Sabina. Yes. Um, Pastor, you know, God has really blessed me tremendously, especially with a, a lucrative business and a good and faithful husband. But Pastor, <sighs> there's a big challenge in front of me. Pastor, I... I really want God to bless me with the fruit of the womb. I really need, I need it. Sister Sabina, that you seek will come soonest. Amen. The God that blessed Sarah will cause your womb to conceive. Amen. Sister Sabina, I like the fact that you've made a positive statement that God has blessed you tremendously. So shall it continue to be in your life. Amen. The God that, that caused Sarah to conceive will bless you with your own child. Amen. Sister Sabina, I prophesy unto your womb that come this time next year, mark my word, come this time next year, you shall carry your own child. Amen. God is not a man. My God will never lie. When he say yes, no man can say no. Sister Sabina, continue giving in the vineyard of the Lord. And he will never look down on you. Amen. He will always be by your side. Amen. He will always protect you. Amen. He will always guide you. Amen. Always be with you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. Sister Sabina, today, as, I, as I've stepped my foot into your house, I cause the blessings of the Most High to dwell permanently here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Sabina, you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Amen. What of your husband? Oh, he went out. You see, what the Spirit is telling me, I would have loved to pray for the both of you. But prayer is a chain. It connects. So let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Father, bring forth your daughter before you. Father, today she has decided to bless the house of the Lord with this token. Richard, why are you doing this to us? You dumped me. You dumped yourself by pride of yourself for our home. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? I can't believe you're talking to me this way. What have I done to deserve the manner at which you're talking to me? And treating me? Is there someone else? It's obvious you're dumb. Just get out of my table. It's obvious there's another woman. Tell me. Is she better than me? Is she better than me, babe? Tell me. Just get out. Why? So you can go be with her. Baby. Why are you doing this to us? Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How could you? Will you stop shouting at me? Did you ask if I had any money on me when she came? You would have followed her to the hospital. Offer to help any way you can. Not just send her away like that. Yes. I sent her away. So she can go get help elsewhere. Since I don't have any money on me. And what is so difficult in understanding this? What I don't understand, Nduka, is how could you Knowing you're seeking a child from God, allow a poor widow who is in dire need to save a child. Send her away like that. You know she's my friend. At least you would have given her my second number. Why didn't you give her yourself? And why couldn't you stay at home so she could have met you when she came? Please, stop blaming me unnecessarily. I don't like it. I'm really disappointed at you. I can't believe you can be this wicked. And yet you pride yourself a born again Christian. Heaven knows that my conscience is clear. Heaven knows. Nonsense. Let's go. To the hospital, right? Hospital what? What is the time? It's 6 p.m. <laughs> and you think 
this is the right time for you to take me to the hospital? Oh, Martins, are you planning on ending my life? No, ma. Why would I do such a thing? Okay, then. Drive me home. I'll go to the hospital after work tomorrow, okay? But, ma, you normally close exactly this time every day from work. And you told me how serious your knees is at the hospital. How dare you? I'm sorry, ma. I'm only suggesting you see her today. You never can tell her current situation. Will you shut up? Huh? That I requested for a personal driver from my workplace doesn't mean I will take this nonsense from a low life like you. Who are you to advise me on what to do? Who the hell are you? How dare you? I'm sorry, ma'am. Get the hell out of my car. But it hasn't gotten to this yet, ma'am. I said, get out! You're fired! I'm sorry. Get out. Ma, please. Ma, please, I'm sorry. Ma. Why are you feeling angel? Make sure the bones move. You'll be fine. Alright. I I heard the doctor said I need blood. Yes, and the blood is coming. My sister said she will come here today and offer help. Um, did you call her? I did, but um, she wasn't picking. Perhaps she's driving down, that's why. Or maybe she's not. Let's be optimistic, eh? All will be well. Lord, I'm not your bike. See her tell me. I, I shall not do it. He makes me lie down in the <coughs> Get more again. Get more. 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 Okay? What does the doctor want? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Talk to me. What does he want? <laughs> Stop crying, okay? Let's just go in and pay the bills so we can take our cups. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Are you serious? 
No, 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 I'm not in the office. I drove out to see someone. No, it's not something serious. I can be there. I can come. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be there right away. <laughs> Um, sister, I, I brought food for you and the kids. Let me quickly rush inside, pay the bills, and then I rush back to the office. I have an emergency. I'll see you after the barrier. Please, just, just stop crying. I beg you, please. away from me. I said I'm sorry. I did not mean to refuse your friend help. You've proven to me that you're not a Christian. You can go feed on the baby's cups or better still, lick the woman's tears. I didn't have any money on me when she came. I explained this. Eh? Please. The man I married would have gone out of his way to help. The ATM machine is not far from here. Instead, you chose to abandon the poor, helpless woman who came to you for help. And you think God will forgive you for that? I'm so sorry, my dear wife. Eh? I'm only but human, prone to make mistakes. And I regret my actions deeply. Please. Okay, okay. I will go see her tomorrow and commiserate with her. Please, be gone. Eh, please, forgive me. It's fine. Thank you. Like I said, stay away from me! <gasps> Meaning you've not heard my plea. Nebikoni, please. Stop, Mama! Meaning you've not heard my plea. Bikoni, I'm back. Come on. Have missed you. Same here. What is it? You know I'm expecting to hear the two magic words. I don't have anything to say. Uh -huh. You don't have anyone or you think there is no reason to. Both of them. Oh, that's been so unfair to me. So, what's stopping you from saying thanks? Or didn't you get the alert? I did. Oh, oh baby, you promised me 20 million naira to start my own plaza. Eh? And the alert I got today is one chinkily 10 million. Uh -uh. 
Don't you want your husband to start his own kind of business? Babe, at least that is something. I deserve some credit. The time is going. I know. I know and that is why I've been working my ass out to meet up. You know things have not been rosy with me. You know that. I don't know anything. The only thing I know is that you are saving all your money so that you can give it to your sister and her kids. Oh, talking about my sister. She lost her child today. Sorry for her loss. But that's not the option here. We're talking about my 20 million naira. Babe, I give you 10 million. At least, appreciate that. Let me first you. of my eyes. Mom, you promised you you stop crying. And here you are. Why can't you allow God to comfort us? Cheka is not supposed to know about this. He's still hoping Inka will come back. How did you know she wasn't coming back? Because Dad never did. He kept on lying to me that he'll come back someday. But it's been many years, Mom. I now know the truth. Dead people do not come back. Okay. Mom, why do and Sabina hate us so much? I thought you said she's your sister. Are you all right? Yes, I, 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 I did, I did all right. Now, now my tiny, tiny junior, I don't know that I did all right. They like to be dating in front of strangers. So when I see fine, 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 then yeah, we come inside. Yeah. Hi. Um, is this Richard's residence? Eh? Yeah? Richard. Eh? Yeah. Okay, Richard. Uh, my yoga madam, be there. No, not madam. I'm talking of a man, Richard. Is this where he stays? Yes, the, near the talk now, woman, you don't come out now, the wife, the, the house. Maybe mm -hmm. that one will not get to work. Are you sure you know who I'm talking about? Yes. Richard. Is it... 
Is this where he stays? Man, you going on here? Okay. What are you doing here, Vivian? Richard, I'm sorry. I don't want to ever see you in this house again. Do you understand? No, um, it... And you. Okay. I don't want to ever see her around this premises ever again. It hasn't yeah. gotten to this now. Baby! Baby. Richard! Get your hands out! Get your hands off me! Richard, I'm sorry! <laughs> Richard, I'm sorry! Get your hands off me! Richard! Richard! Hey! I got my... Hey! Maria, come on, you did a job. You did a try. Hey, man. I got my... What I think. How can you say a thing like that? I'm really disappointed. What is wrong with what I said? Everything. How can you say it's good she lost a child? I mean, that's been wicked and monstrous. Baby, listen to me. Her life will be better off without that burden. See, those children, they're a huge burden to her. So the earlier death comes and takes them away, the better for her. Richard, they are still her children and they mean so much to her. I feel her pain. That's why I wanted to go see how she was doing. I mean... Just say that you want to go as usual and give her money. Not stopping you. Just remember that the engine of my car is bad, though. I'll fix that to you now. See, the truth is this, right? I'm tired of that car, so I need a replacement. Okay. I'll see what I can do about that. But you need to give me some time. Baby, I don't understand you anymore. Huh? What happened to my ever ready helping wife? Huh? The woman I got married to that is always there to help me. What happened to her? I don't understand you, sincerely. I'm sorry now. Babe, I'm sorry. There is no problem. The time there is that um, so there is no problem. Like, yeah, there is no problem. You know, we are going to resume just a few days from from, from now. Yeah, there is no problem. Um, I will get back to you then. Okay. So do take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, Sister Solomon. You know, um this Saturday we are going to have our crusade. You understand? So it's obvious I'm looking for someone that will help, you know, in clearing the field. You understand? So I don't know, can you do it? God's grace. It's no problem, sir. Of course I can. No, because what I want is a very neat job. So that even people that are coming for the uh, crusade, so that they can see where to sit. You stand and will last. Sir, you don't have any problem. When I'm done with the job, you confirm it to be neat. Okay, there is no problem. I will give you a try. So how much am I going to pay you? Um, 8,000 is okay, sir. 8,000 naira. 
clearing the whole Lagos state. It's just ordinary field, though. See, I'm only considering this your pretty kids and you. You understand? You are our member. I can't take this job too, I swear. See, I'm going to pay you 4,000 there. You understand? Sir, please. That field is very wide. And there's a whole lot of work to do there. If you can make it 5,000, I'll be grateful. Um, Sister Salome. You know, it's not, it's not that I can't go out there and get or hire able-bodied men that can do, that can be able to do this. You understand? But I just want to want you to do it. You understand? So, um, if we are on uh, on a deal, then you tell me. Or do you want me to go out there? No problem, sir. I'll take it. But um, can I get an advance, please? You no, know, even started working, and you want to get an advance. I just need to get one or two things, sir. You don't have any problem. Okay. So I have to balance you 2,000 there. Please, remember. Very neat job. No problem. Please. I'm going to start now. Okay, okay. Okay, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Are you serious about this? I'm telling you. He doesn't even want to see my face again. I thought I was winning. <laughs> you know, I told you not to bear that my baby is faithful to me, but you wouldn't agree. <gasps> Babe, am I not sexy enough? He hasn't even touched me. Not to talk of taking me to his bed. <laughs> Every single thing I do pisses him off. Really? That's because he doesn't find you attractive. He's not interested in you, so everything about you irritates him. <laughs> Babes, that man truly loves you. You know, I told you I was going to watch your back. And that's why you agreed and trusted me to tempt him. Yeah, but you know, aside from trusting you, I know Richard loves me with every fiber of his being, mm -hmm. which is why I wasn't afraid when you threw in the challenge to go tempt him. Though he fell for it initially. Fell. He didn't fall for it one bit. He was just giving me false hope. Really? That man loves you. Ah. So guard and cherish that love with everything you have or else you will lose him to girls like me. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Are you done tempting? Well, I'm gradually building distance between the both of us. Mm. It was a dangerous game. I enjoyed it. But it's I'm okay. sorry I tempted your man. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I really wanted to find out who he really is. You know, though it was a huge risk. But hey, thank you. Hello. Is anybody home? Eric. What a surprise, baby. Same as I felt when I got your call. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know you were going to be here this soon. You know, I've been bored and I miss you. Same here, darling. <laughs> Where is she? Who? Your wife. Uh, she's at the office working her ass out for that oil firm. Then what are we still doing? Let's go and search. You know. We just got here, right? And you need to have something to drink before we get started. Oh, no, pass. Let's go straight to the bed. Okay, probably. Oh, get out of that. Oh, okay, let me go. Yes, Tombra, come and get the gates for me. Uh, how far? I go be now. What? And the choco bum bum is the buy for me any time in the corner. Oh, I forgot. Maybe next time. Ah, no, I will not talk that one. You know, see, person of the here, he here anyhow. Huh? I go be as you forget him. Do something. Okay. Take this one, manage it. A hundred naira. Manage it. Uh, there's no any big, big one inside. Huh? Manage it. Come and get the gates for me. 
I think now because you talk management, to oh, uh, this Southern America cannot buy anything in this in this world again. Next time, yeah. Now, uh, I mean, this is the only thing we're doing inside. Poverty. See ya. Sticking poverty. Just as poor as 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 as, as this my organ. Very poor people. Lazy poor people that cannot do any anything. The only thing where they get na nyash. They dangling nyash, dangling potable. Cannot give me anything. Look at the nonsense you give me. Hundred naira not be waiting at the you to clean nyash if I be shit. Now you give me. Nonsense. When will all this be over? Soon. How soon? Well, soon as because I'm putting plans together. Stories. That's all you tell me every time. When will you cease to give me these stories and excuses? Eric, she's trying. She has already paid 10 million out of the money I asked for. Shut up, released everything by now. Well, we need a little more patience, that's just the thing. Can't wait for us to be together and be happy. Baby, it's not what you think, eh? It's not what you think. She's a... SHUT UP! This... is the sickness! Why you didn't go to work today? Hey, hey. Right? Yes, baby, eh? She's, um... um she's just... Will you shut up? Trusted you. I did. She, 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 she's not. Because such a thing from me. I didn't want to break your marriage. My marriage was already over the moment Indica refused to help you because you denied him sex. Hi. I wasn't happy when he said it. And I thought that by moving out, I'll take away his urge for cheating on you. 
you so heartbroken. How could you do this to me? <laughs> See, my dear. Be strong. Huh? God knows why things turned out this way. Of what benefit is it of God seeing me in tears? What benefit of him allowing me marry an infidel, a feckless womanizer? Now I understand his sudden change in attitude. He started seeing another woman. Probably because they couldn't give him a child. <clears throat> No, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. Your marriage is just two years young. Huh? Any man who will start sleeping around because you've not given birth in such a young marriage is just a hopeless womanizer. It's not about you. Okay? Don't talk about it anymore. No, no, no. No. I can't. I feel like killing him already. Hey, no, 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 no. I should. No. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that, my darling. It's fine. No? Okay. Where are the kids? They went to church. I think we ever go back to school. Of course, I have faith in God and in Him. But you know the exams will soon start. And we've not covered anything. In fact, we're so behind now. I know. If things didn't work at this time, it's work at next time. Mom is trying her best to raise money. She are well. Yes, I am. But I just wish things can get back to normal. And I wish Dad could come back from wherever he has gone to and take care of us. Let's keep on praying. Oh my God! Where have the girls been? You've not been attending extra morals lately. Mm, yes, there yeah, we are. Um, our mom is finding it. We are planning on relocating from Lagos. We're moving down to the east so we can continue our education there. Wow, really? Okay, see you then. Bye. Ha! Ah, Miss Sue.
Sabrina, what do you want from me? You abandoned me and my dead child in the hospital without even bothering to find out if I had buried her. Sister, I did not abandon you. I paid the hospital bills, right? It's just that I got an important call in from the office, so I had to run. Important call? My dead child, my income, was not important enough for you. Important call. So since that time you've been in the office and you've not come out right. You won't understand. I don't even have time for myself, not to talk of others. I don't. So be that. I want to believe you're still my sister. You are still the sister that I sacrificed everything for. The sister that I cuddled to sleep in my arms. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten how our parents died at a tender age? Have you forgotten? All I went through for you, Sabina, have you forgotten? I have not forgotten. I have not. My problem with you is just that you feel people don't care about you. You feel you're the only widow with children in this world. I mean, you take things to the extreme, even with unnecessary assumptions. I take things to the extreme with unnecessary assumptions. That's fine. Sister, I followed you here because I want to liberate your suffering. I know the kids are a burden to you. So I'm offering to take one of them to come stay with me. Take this 2000 Buy food for yourself and the children. I will come tomorrow to pick whichever of them you decide to give me. Sabina. 2000 naira. Sister, you need to manage. Things are really difficult with me. I mean, I have projects, yet no money to execute them. So stop thinking like I have money and I don't want to give you. Uh-uh. I'll see you tomorrow. No, Mom, we're not going. I'll go. You're not going either. Mom, we are not going. But she's my sister. And she's offering to help for the first time in a long while. But she's not a good person. You said it before. And how do you expect us to live with her? She came here and apologized. And she has offered to send whoever stays with her to school. Do you know how desperately I want you both to go back to school? Why not she give you our fee? We can manage with you. Mm. So be cool, please. Eh? Learn to forgive and forget. Mm? She has offered to help. Let's not reject it. You go and live with her. Oh? No, Chica can go. I'm ready to forfeit to my education. Since as Sabina can live up to her promises. What you just said now reminds me of something I did many years ago. Uncle has been looking for you everywhere. Tell me why you're crying. I saw my dream last night. 
Oh, my mama, mama, what happened? I tried to learn something, but all of a sudden she closed her eyes. So she couldn't hear me anymore. Sabina, so, mama is dead. Mama is dead and there's no way you could talk to her. Look at me. I'm your only sister, also a mother you could talk to. You can tell me anything you want to. Stop crying, okay? Everything will be fine. You know, I also miss Mama too. And I promise Mama that I'll always take care of you. So you're afraid to tell me anything, okay? Uncle has been looking for you. Uncle said he wants to tell us something. There is no way you can go inside with your face like this. You remember I promised uncle that you're not going to cry again. So now wipe your tears. And I'm sure someday mama will come back to us. All of us will be happy again. As you can see, no member of your father's family is willing to help any of you. And me, I have just retired. With the little savings I have, I don't think it would be enough to take off your education and other needs. Salome, uncle. you are through with your education, isn't it? Yes, uncle. I finished two years back. Good. My son Chukwemeka, you know him? The one that lives in Lagos. Yes, sir. He's willing to help in your education only. But he'll be able to help just one of the two of you. Could that is a great news. Then let my sister Sabina go. No. You go and see if you can gain admission to the university. The university can wait. The university can wait for now. Your education matters a lot to me. Uncle, please beg Uncle Chukwemeka to take my sister Sabina. You know, she just entered just two before her mother died. And she has not been able to further her education. Uncle, if Uncle Chukwemeka is willing to help us, I will be glad. Then you stay here doing what? Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Besides, there are a lot of things to do here. I'll see if I can learn a trade. And raise some money to assist you. Food. Yes. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Is that what you want? Yes, Uncle. All right. I will inform my son about this development. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you.
And what's the meaning of that? He, 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 no, he no get the house. Why would he, would he come here? They, 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 they talk with all the time. How dare you speak to me in such manner? Oh, bros, wait now they talk with this. If you want me for this house, you go meet my madam. Oh, they will give you one room. You collect one. I go not say you live inside this house. No, if they just come here, they knock, pong, 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 pong. They disrupt person. Even one person, they expect person. But will you shut up? I'll report you to your boss. Na 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 joke na. You know they follow you joke. Na joke. Okay, now now wait till they find. I can see you are drunk. And is your boss around? My boss is not around. My ogre. You don't come out and my madam and wife. All of them don't come out. Even though I know see no wife, they come fine. Because you know they find your wife. My my ogre they find. I'll broach this insults to your boss and make sure I have you fired. You can't tell her now. Oh, you don't know, already give me a school. If my guy ask me, I will go just tell her, say, I get a day drunk for dream. At that time, you, 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 you can't knock. I, I, I can't wake up. Yeah? But now, now which, which kind of dream is this thing? Why the dream? Why the push you one right like that for dream? This is now, now malaria. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't they smell her. Chica, have you finished arranging your clothes in the wardrobe? Yes, Auntie. Okay. Do you know how to cook? No, Auntie. Huh? So, what has your mom been teaching you then? When I was your age, I already know how to cook everything. The situations of life hasn't given my mom the opportunity to teach me. But, Meso, she can cook very well. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Let me teach you something for today, because I won't have this time again. Hey, hey, hey. Coco, good afternoon, sir. Who is this? My niece. I told her I was going to go bring her to come stay with us. Auntie, what about the food? Are you dumb or what? Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Oh, she came around. Yes, sir. She even took Chica to stay with her. Stay with her? I seen to stay with her while she trains her in school. It's her way of helping and unaccepted. Okay. It's a good thing. At least for the first time you're getting help from her. I just hope she keeps to her promise. If she doesn't, then I'll just go and take my daughter. It's as simple as that. I didn't even know shame will allow her come back after abandoning you at the hospital. I really wonder what was wrong with your sister. Well, I believe she's changing. Hmm. At least I just have a mess to cater for now. I really pray I find a way to send her back to school. You will, my dear. God will make a way. What of your husband? You still remember that one? <laughs> He's been pleading, but I'm done. And my mind is made up. Easy. Calm down. Hmm? down. He's a human and we humans are prone to make mistakes. Forgive him. Hmm? He's still your man. Hello, man. I really do not want to talk about Nduka right now. Please. Hey, Joe, just get me something to eat. Ah, ah. Hey, see order. You've come to your canteen. No problem, ma. 
Why is it mess so? Mm. <laughs> sure, you come and point at the meat you want. <laughs> you know, husband, we like meat. Should I come inside or should we wait here? Yeah, because because I like this air. Before shall? you come and finish <laughs> Babe, just try and calm down. Don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. It's obvious you lost every form of respect for me in this house. How could you say that? How have I disrespected you? I cannot believe you just asked me that stupid and, and annoying question. Did we discuss about this girl coming to this house? But honey, I told you I wanted to take one of my sister's kids. So people will not start talking. People. And who are those people? Eh? Are they in our pockets? Or have they suddenly become our money managers? Eh? It is obvious that you have forgotten that you have a lot to do for me with money. What if they want you to go and steal money to train those children? Eh? Or are they not your responsibility? Of course, yes. What about the plaza you promised to set up for me? Or is your sister's needs now bigger than my own? How could you say a thing like that? Besides, it's just one of her kids that I picked and promised to train her in school. Uh -huh. Queen Elizabeth, probably you've, you've agreed to, 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 to own all the NGOs in this world so that you can help the less privileged. Babe, how could you say such a thing? Because that is how it starts. Before you know it now, you will bring the love of our child and she will come and join us in our house just because you want to help the society. Don't be too angry. Just let it go, please. I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. Okay, fine. She will leave by month's end. But for now, please, just let her stay while I teach her some things. Can you do that for me? Month end is too far. Took you so long. Sorry, sir. Ow! What's this? Oh. Is it all this stupid girl that just stepped on my door? Is something, is something wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just stop and apologize once I get out of this place. the man in charge of this property. Didn't BC tell you about that? She did, but I didn't know it was you. Okay, now you do. 
She came to me and told me that you needed a place to stay for a period of time. And I collected a little money from her for you to stay here. But now, this property has been sold. Jesus. Yes, oh. yes. As a matter of fact, the buyer will soon come and demolish it and build a better house. So my advice to you is to pack out of this premises as soon as possible. Hey, but sir, it's not been long we moved in here. I have no other place to go. How is it my business, woman? I am a businessman, an agent at that. So please, act soon and that will be okay for you. so that we can think. What do you want me to think? What do you want me to think? What do you want me to think, Richard? How do I tell my sister that the child she sent to stay with me is gone now? How do I tell my sister that the child she sent to stay with me is gone now? How do I tell my sister that the child she sent to stay with me is Jigga, please. Jigga, please, don't go, please. It's okay, <laughs> no, baby, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I, it's actually a mistake. I, I don't even know that I hit her that hard, though. She's so silly. Do you know what we should be thinking now? We should be thinking of what to tell the mother. What exactly happened? You know, we need to coin something that we can tell the mother that happened. Okay? Jesus, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe it. If I knew I would have brought you can to stay with us, I think my son would be so good. No, please, we chill out for me, no, please. Chill out, please, get out. Oh, now, would you just stop this process that you're doing? Get out, leave me alone, leave me. Just go, get out. Just go, just go. Just go! 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 Just Where's my sister? Don't cry, why are you crying? What happened to my sister? I I I I don't I I don't I I I don't I don't I don't I don't I you're also crying. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. Sorry sister. about what? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't love it. What's wrong? Sister, Don't cry. Sister, cry. Sister, You're crying. Sister, I'm sorry. Oh, Guangini, are you all right? Sister, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is that? Why is my daughter sleeping like that? Why is she sleeping like that? Why is she on your shoulder? Give what have you done to my sister? Why is she sleeping like this? Chica! Chica, please wake up! Chica! 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 Please. Chica, please! What have you done to my sister? Chica, Chica, I know you don't like this house. We'll go! Chica, please! Chica, we'll live under the bridge. I don't care! Chica, wake up, please! please. Chica, wake up! 
Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Monster killed your daughter, and you're allowing her go scot free. She said she slept and didn't wake up. And you believe that rubbish? How can a child as healthy as Chica die in her sleep? How? How is that ever possible? Death can happen at any time. No, I'm not buying that. I don't believe her. <laughs> What do you want me to say, BC? <laughs> what do you want me to say? I've left it in God's hands. Why is all this happening to you? Why? Why? That woman killed my sister. Now I'm not going to see her on game again. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. It's okay. I don't even know what to say to God anymore. I'm tired. The husband living in has been so. I heard about that. Follow me. I'll see what I can do about it. truth. I lied to my sister just to save your head. Now my sister is suffering for it. She's in perpetual sorrow. I think you should give your sister some money. Yes, ma'am. 
a lot of it actually, you know, get her a house somewhere nice, you know, a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> I thought she never wanted me to help my sister. Well, um, as far as you could erase the guilt from your mind, uh, it's okay. Baby, the truth is I don't have any problem with your sister. By the way, she's your only sister. But don't forget my 10 million. I mean, my 10 million naira. <sighs> Richard. I will set to my sister first. The money can wait. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Of what essence is it praying to him? Does he exist? Meso, why would you say such a thing? Because I don't think he does. He doesn't exist, Mom. Stop it. If he does, why did he allow Dad to die? Why did he allow Kema Chika to die? See, God decides who lives and who dies. It's not our decision to make, it's his. Then it's what let's bring to him. Since he allows bad things happen to us, Miss Oma, I said stop it. Don't make things harder for us than they are already. Hmm? There is a heaven. There is heaven and when we die, we'll go there and be with them forever. Then let's go die. Let's go with them. Simple. have a sister who is in dire need of your help. Um, look, it's not as if I abandoned her. It's just that my husband requested for a huge amount of money from me, which I've been trying to sell to since then. At the detriment of your own sister. A lady who looks just like you. She's a widow for heaven's sake. You shouldn't abandon her like that. I've been trying to reach out to her too. Just that I've made huge promises that I've not been able to fulfill. And right now, where she lives, I've been sold. Sabina, get her a befitting apartment. To hell with your husband. Or what do you think people would say? That a wealthy lady like you abandons her own blood sister? Is she educated? Yes, yeah, she had her NCE, but yet to retrieve her certificate. Vivian, truly, my, my sister sacrificed a lot for me. If not for my sister, I wouldn't have been able to see nor go through the four walls of a university. Sabina, you're sick. You know what? Go on and think about it. We'll talk later.
You're not eating. What is it? I'm not hungry. Mm. Don't tell me that. Hmm? I know you. And I know when something is bothering you. Ngwa, talk to your mother. Oh? I want us to leave this town. I want us to leave this city. Why? We've seen a lot of misfortune around here. Maybe we should move to Owerri, or to Asaba, or to Aba, anywhere outside Lagos. I've also thought about it. Perhaps it's time we left Lagos. I have a friend that stays on Folks Road in Aba. Maybe we could move there next month. Why not this month, Mom? Why? What's the hurry? Because I had the bad dream about this. Yeah. What kind of dream? serious with these words, right? Richard, what do you want? It seems like all those times I begged you in Greece. Listen, you really need to be careful with the words you use, right? So you don't regret them, you know? <laughs> regret what? And who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Well, we'll talk about all that later. We were talking to a certain lady earlier today. And she happens to be my wife. I really want to know what you told her. Your wife? A woman you never introduced me to. What a surprise. <laughs> Do I look like I'm bluffing? Well, if you must know. I told her the truth. The truth? The truth about us, Mr. Womanizer. <laughs> Calm down. I've never seen you this scared before. I was only joking. Yeah, it's me, Sabina. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. And you? How about your family? Okay, look, Mohamed, please, I'm in the need of two to three bedrooms apartment that is well furnished with constant light and water. Yes, yes. Anywhere in the heart of Lagos is very okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, please, I'll be expecting to hear from you from now to the weekend, if that's okay. Okay, but have in mind, money wouldn't be a problem. Just get me something very befitting. Thank you. Bye. Tombra, what is it? Madam, I'm not, I'm not happy at all. Not happy. Of course, I can see that. Why are you crying? And then the way, the way that began die. The way that began die, they pay me. They pay me, Tombra. They pay me well. I feel so sad too. But what can I do, Dombra? What? 
on my bed. Eh? It will help her. Even if not to collect my, my two months salary, give up. But she take the to support herself. Madam, you know they easy. <laughs> That's so kind and thoughtful of you, Dombra. You know, I feel very guilty for neglecting her for so long. But I'm taking every possible measures to make sure I change her life. It's a move. But I'm, see, you pass them. You pass this thing. You know, not even reach the thing where I see you they do for people. You know, not even reach them where my eyes they Dombra, see. Dombra, it's enough. It's enough. I heard you. Come and open the gate for me. I'm in a hurry. And please, do not say this to any other person. Keep it to yourself. Open the gate. Babe, we have a problem. What kind of problem, Susie? The girl I used to date beside my wife just betrayed me. The girl you used to date? Which, are you seriously telling me you've been cheating on me? Honey, this, this is a very serious matter. Have you slept with her? Of course not. Baby, you know I would never cheat on you. But you did. Come on now. I just needed a female I could talk to and... You know that the woman I call my wife, she's always in the office. She never has my time. Richie, that doesn't give you an excuse to cheat on me. Baby, please, no. I'm sorry. Sincerely, let's not dwell on this matter, right? Remember, we have a plan. And the 20 million naira is here to be completed. So, I'm doing everything possible to make sure that happens. But now I don't even know what this lady went to tell my wife about me. How sure are you? She confronted me. It's just that I, uh, my wife hasn't even said anything about it. Then she must be planning something. Where I can't wait to kill that woman after collecting that money. It's just that I don't even see the possibility of that happening. We need to do something. Or... Something like what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs>
Lisa! Madam, 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 yeah, miss, miss, there, there is something very important. I want to uh, look, uh, I will increase your salary next month. So save the complaint, huh. Madam. This thing is not salary incrementation. Even though I'm expecting the salary in, in, in increase, but Madam, you get something very, very important. I want to tell you, Madam, you know, say you be very good woman, and everybody, everybody know about it. Everybody, this lady, Madam, if I do not tell you this thing, it's very, very bad. I want to tell you the truth about this, this, this thing. Jeez. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, we can explain. It's not what you think. We can explain. I cannot believe this. Richard? Give me your egg! So, so my sister has been right all along. Huh? You are not happy. Why? Are you seriously asking me that question? Our baby is for our good. This woman is very wealthy and she has a future. It's all about for our good. How long do you intend staying in this marriage? Till I get a huge sum of money from her and take absolute possession of all her property. That's it. Richie, that's going to take a while. And you're asking me to wait? I promise you, I'll be with you very soon. And we need money. We need money to achieve every single thing we need to do. Right? I miss you. I miss you too. But you can always come around and we'll have fun. <laughs> Sabina. You know me. I'll never lie about something as important as this. Sister, I have asked my husband, but he denied it. What did you expect? You expected him to say it's true? I am your sister. I am your blood. And what I want is your happiness. Sabina, that man is no good for you. He's not who you think he is. Look, this is so ridiculous. I mean, this is very hard for me to believe that my husband is gay. Sister, you're talking nonsense. Me, Salome, talking nonsense. Do you think I don't want your happiness? <laughs> of course. It's very obvious, very glaring that you don't want my happiness. If not, how else would you be against a man I love and trust wholeheartedly? Why did you not condemn him before I got married to him? Why? Why now? Is it because you realize that he's more handsome than your husband? Sabina, 
I did not come to your house to get insulted. Listen to me. You are making a grievous mistake. That man is no good for you. Sister, uh -uh. Salome, I can see you want nothing but my sadness and sorrow. But now, I will not give in to that. I will not allow you to deceive me. Not now, not ever. You have overstayed your welcome. Sabina, God knows I'm telling the truth. I know what I saw. Get out, please. should because Eric and I we've come a long way oh baby actually the truth is we can actually have this marriage on a threesome you know the three of us that kind of <laughs> touch you dare touch me with your filthy hands now I see why you've been against my sister now I see why you've refused me helping my sister but she never wanted this marriage to work I told her to keep quiet about what she saw, but she wouldn't.
Who is home? to come back when you and your mom would have returned from wherever you went to. You're crying. Come on, you don't need to cry anymore. They're smiling because I just rented a befitting apartment for you and mom. And I also bought a new car for her to be driving you to school with. You're still crying. What's wrong? Where's your mom? My mom is dead. What? What did you just say? I said my mom is dead. No. I'm sorry, who are you, please? I'm Salome. I was the girl that brought my sister last night. She had been complaining of pain for anything. I remember now. How are you? I'm fine. How is she? Can I see her name? Um, you see, from the diagnosis we carried out on your sister, it appears her kidneys are not functioning anymore. Okay? So, she will be needing a kidney transplant as soon as possible. Oh. What did you just say? I'm sorry, but she needs a kidney transplant. Oh my god. Oh my god. What will I do? What will I do to save my sister's life? You see, there's still hope. Okay? All she needs is a kidney transplant and uh, we need that as soon as possible. Okay? Possibly yours. Mm -hmm. You mean if if I give my sister one of my kidneys, she will live? Sure. She will survive it. Yes. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. Now you see, you have to hurry up about it. Just think about it and then let us know. Okay? I done wrong. My own kidney. Why me? What? Sabina, it's okay. It's okay. You have to stop crying. Cry won't solve anything now. After my education, why now they're about to write to you, Waik? Salome. What have I done wrong? You haven't done anything wrong. I've spoken to the doctor already. And the doctor said I can donate one of my kidney for you to survive. Salome, you don't need to. No. I can watch my only sister die when I can save you. Sabina, you all have God. You still have a long way to go in life. I have a bright future. Stop crying, okay? I'll donate my kidney. I'll donate my kidney. That will make you to survive. My kidney. God. Why me? God. It's okay. Sabina, you will live for me. <laughs> Sabina, Sabina, please. The landlord has kicked me and the children out of the house at last. Not even a greeting. Pardon my manners. Good afternoon, Richard. I'm sorry. You mean you and the kids are homeless? 
Yes, please. We need your help. Okay, why not we... Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are late to a function. You have to come back later. Do you understand? Maybe next weekend will be fine. Please. Sabina, please. Even if it's something for the kids to eat, please. Huh? Didn't you hear her? Go and fix your children and yourself somewhere else and come back next weekend. Nonsense. Move this car! I'm so sorry to disappoint you, please. Madam Nana, I did that. She said, I left and dead. I don't even know what I open get for her. Sabina, please. I beg you with everything within me. My child is sick. I need your help. I beg you. Where have you been? Because I've been to your former residence and a neighbor you told false tales about me, insulted me. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what happened. But I'm sorry. You know I wouldn't do such a thing. Please, Sabina, my child is seriously sick. I need your assistance, Pico. You see this life? You see you? After tarnishing my reputation, you still have the face to walk into my compound. Really? Huh? You only come to me when there is trouble. Where have you been since? You've been managing, you've been doing very well without me. You never care to let me know about your whereabouts. Huh? I don't have money to give. Moreover, I've exceeded my daily transactions and it's weekend already. So there is no money. It will wait till Monday, okay? Sabina, <laughs> this is an emergency. Explain that to the doctor. By Monday, I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry for your child. Sabina. Idiots. Open the gate for me. Sabina, 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 Now, okay? What does the doctor want? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Talk to me. What does he want? Stop crying, okay? Let's just go in and pay the bills so we can take our cups. 
Hello, Andrew. Are you serious? No, 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 I'm not in the office. I drove out to see someone. No, it's not something serious. I can be there. I can come. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be there right away. Um, sister, I, I brought food for you and the kids. Let me quickly rush inside, pay the bills, and then I rush back to the office. I have an emergency. I'll see you after the barrier. Please, just, just stop crying. I beg you, please. Let her go! Let her go! Okay! Stop. I missed it. I missed it. I met you at home when I came to your house for help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my sadness and stupid last night. I wish I was in the world. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mommy, you can't come back. Mommy, you can't stop crying. Listen, I'm not so calm. Come and wait until it's over. So, you've succeeded in killing my best friend. You've succeeded in making her die in penury. I remember countless times she came to you pleading for help. But you turned your back on her after everything she did for you. After all her sacrifices. Ah! Oh! She told you? Of course she did. And what did you do? You failed her. Look at the media today, praising you for burying your sister in a gold casket. A gold casket! You know she wouldn't have died if only you helped her. She would still be alive. Look, I'm sorry. Please just, just try and hear me out. There is nothing to hear from you. I'm going to tell the whole world what you did. How you killed your sister, how you made her life miserable. I'm going to tell them everything. And listen, I'll be coming to take this kid before you kill her as well. Mordra. Madam, I, 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 don't, I don't know.
Sister Sabina. How callous can you be? I mean, I, I, I can't believe this. Um, Pastor, it's not what you think. What is the truth? I never knew you had a sister in dear need of help. But you neglected her. That was so unchristian of you. Pastor, there is no justification for your actions. It's really monstrous of you to have treated your sister so badly. When I received the information, I was so heartbroken. Sister Sabina, you really disappointed me. Pastor, I'm sorry for my actions. I'm so sorry. Sister Sabina, you should ask God for mercy. And to that innocent girl whom you've taken everything from, I couldn't hold myself together when, when I got the information. And that is the reason why I'm here. To express how disappointed I am with you. Sister Sabina, I'm sorry. I must be on my way now. Pastor Pete. Pastor, I'm sorry. I've said I'm so I've said I'm sorry. Please. You, you can't leave me now, Pastor. You, you can't leave me now. I beg you, please. Please. Sister Sabina, you should ask God for forgiveness before coming to me. <laughs> what you did is so wicked. I regret ever collecting donations from you. When you have someone in desperate need of help, the life we live as Christians is to help our brothers and our sisters. You failed. Sister Sabina, ask God for forgiveness. Goodbye. Pastor, please. Pastor, please. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have any business here again. Come on, come on this place now. Oh, you're not supposed to move your stuff on the floor. Move your stuff on the floor. Now, hold him there. Hey! 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 Wow! 
but I can see her. She's full road. Yeah, baby, she is. <laughs> it's just that we didn't have enough time. We could have made more money from her. Oh, baby. <laughs> you know I could not wait any longer. Uh -huh. And besides, what we have here, it's enough for us to fund our brand. Yeah, baby. Uh-huh. And we are going to be Yankee together. Right? I will live happily after. Oh, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. <laughs> baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. To God, this is through all this attack. But I go police. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Could this be God punishing me for marrying a thief? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I am finished. Madam, this is penalty. Go police. I am police. finished. So they're thinking of me to what do I eat? What do I eat? Oh. Rita, have you been not done enough? Oh. What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? Rita, what am I supposed to do to me? Oh. oh my god, no oh, forgive me, I beg you. I beg you, help me out with this. <laughs> we have an advocate, oh, an advocate who stands in the gap, oh, an advocate ready to speak messy. Give and give freedom Let's go. 